Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today we're going to show you quickly how to make this uh, nice watery ripple effect. Uh, really quick and simple to do. Um, before I start that I just want to say uh, an apology to not having any videos out over Christmas and New Year time. I've been quite busy with um, some of my web projects for some of my uh, clients that I work for. and I just haven't had the time to, to do um, some extra ones for, for YouTube and such at the moment. So I'll try and get around to doing a few more in the next week or so, but I can't definitely say I'm going to do anything um, definite at the moment. Okay, so to start with, um, going to go to File and New or um, Control N or the Option key N on the Mac, and I'm going to set the width and height to a thousand pixels and click OK. Uh, just press D on your keyboard. That will uh, set the um, default colors to black and white. And once you've done that, go up to Filter and then to render and then clouds just need to do it once uh, after that you just need to go down to filter and then blur filter blur radial blur uh, you want to set the amount to 38 uh, blur method to spin and quality to best and click OK there we go as you can see you might be able to um, see what we're trying to do here which is just creating the ripple effect here and then what we'll do is we're going to start applying um, some more filter styles on top of that um, to get the final kind of final thing so what we're going to do next is we're just going to blur it a bit more because um, if we don't do this now uh, basically when you we use the other effects the um, the image will look a bit too sharp and a bit too it will look quite fake whereas I think the if I close this point, I'll go through that again. Whereas I think this looks quite realistic um, to a certain degree, and it's not bad for you know two, three, four minutes on Photoshop. So sorry. The next step is filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And we're going to do it by radius of two pixels and hit OK. Once you've done that, we just need to go to uh, filter and sketch, and we're going to go base relief. And the options you want here are detail of, uh, let's say, 13 and smoothness 9. So that's right, so I'll leave that there. And as you can see on the image here, you can start to see the ripples on the image. And then what we'll do is I think we'll uh, add a, we'll add another sketch layer. We'll add chrome, which is this is where the effect comes from. So now you can see that it has turned into a really nice rippled effect and that is with detail set to 5 and smoothness set to 2 okay really quick and simple to do that and hit OK okay and then once you've done that it's just a matter of adding colour and if you haven't uh, watched any of my other tutorials if you watch some other tutorials by now sorry um, you'll know that a lot of the time we're just applying overlays or just changing the hue and saturation that's what we're going to do so control U or the option key in U on the Mac and make sure colourize is ticked Drag the hue up to you know a bluey colour. I used 198, and drag the saturation up to about 30, 31, and hit OK. And there you are. There is your effect. You know they're not uh, identical because obviously each time it renders clouds, it does it slightly differently. So you you'll never have the same one twice, which is quite nice. So you can actually do two or three, choose the best one, or even maybe merge uh, one or two of them together. But there you are. There's two really quick and simple ways to. Uh, make a ripple effect on Photoshop. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And like I've said, I will. Uh, there is one or two videos that I'm trying to do and get around to doing. But at the moment, I've been a bit busy with some of the web work I've had to do over the Christmas and New Year period. So I just haven't got around to it yet. But hopefully, I'll be able to get one or two more out in uh, the next few days. So please stay tuned. Thanks.